awesome, man. He's, uh, you know, I never, I never really talk about officiating or anything like that, but just just rude and, and, and arrogant. What's your opinion of Scott Foster? Terrible. Terrible. Uh, you know, and, it, and it's a known thing. You know, I think I heard the stat this morning about the poll I didn't even know about in 2016, but. It's personal. Yeah. We had a situation some years ago, and it's personal. I think we are all aware what happened last night between Chris Ball and Scott Foster. Now, last night, CP3 and his notorious ref got into a heated exchange. CP3 arguing a call, and Scott Foster was not having any of it. Mans threw CP3 out of the game. And today, we're going to have a look at their beef and have a look at their history, where this all began, and how NBA players reacted to this. Even Stephen Curry, normally cool, calm, plays off these kind of things, had some pretty, pretty interesting words after the game, and I'm going to dive into it. Do you guys think that CP3 and this ref have a personal history? Chris Paul even called it a personal history. I'd love to know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Man, let's start with this beef and let's analyze. Hey, maybe one day we're going to see CP3 and Scott come up against in a one-on-one. -on -one. Man, that would be huge. But let's get into it as we start. All right, so it's pretty clear Chris Paul really does not like NBA referee Scott Foster. I mean, the star point guard's been critical over the years about his dislike for the ref. Now, get this. Chris Paul has lost 13 playoff games with Foster on the officiating crew. Now, he has won one, and that was during the when DeAndre Ayton had that crazy tip-in in the Western Conference Finals against the Clippers. But, I mean, if Scott could have got up and blocked it, I think he might have tried to get up and blocked it. Now, this goes all the way back to... Chris Paul's first ever playoff run with the New Orleans Hornets. This was back in 2007, I believe. Uh, in game seven against the San Antonio Spurs, a must-win game. Scott reft, and what happened? New Orleans lost. Now, we're not going to say that uh, Chris Paul's uh, New Orleans Hornets would have beat the San Antonio Spurs, but man, this is crazy. We have to transition to when Chris Paul was a Houston Rocket. They never won a game with Scott Foster officiating it in the playoffs. That is ridiculous. 0-6 in playoff games with Scott refing CP3's games. Now, there was a game throughout the regular season uh, in 2018 when Chris Paul was... Uh, basically given a tech like he was today. And after the game, it was by Scott Foster. CP3 came out and said that it was Scott Foster at his finest. So CP3 was just kind of used to all of it. So, I mean, that is actually crazy. So, so crazy when you think about it. CP3 played so many finals games for the Houston Rockets. Never was able to get one, a win, when Scott was ref in his game. I mean... There has to be some vendetta there. There just has to be. Now, when Chris Paul was traded to OKC, they met the Houston Rockets in the bubble, and this series went to seven games. Guess what? Chris Paul played against the Rockets, couldn't win a game with the Rockets in the playoffs with Scott Foster refing him, but I tell you what, in game seven, the Houston Rockets defeated OKC, and Scott Foster was refing. Man, if that isn't crazy, then what is? I mean, it was a great first round series. I mean, Paul was even critical uh, for the delay of game calls he was getting called against by Scott Foster throughout that entire game. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, absolutely crazy. Delay of games on Chris Paul by Scott Foster. I mean, that, uh, for me personally, man, it honestly feels like there is a, uh, a vendetta against CP3. We fast forward to when Chris Paul was the Phoenix Sun against the Los Angeles Lakers in a playoff series. Now, this was in game three of the playoffs. And Paul even came out after the game because Scott Foster refed the game and criticized him again. I mean, there was this meme going around about Scott Foster being 11-0 against CP3 in playoff games. Even Chris Paul acknowledged this man. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. Now, Scott Foster is officiating uh, many NBA games. And I've seen so many times people have come out and criticized Scott Foster uh, for the way he has acted in games, the text that he's given out. But I'd love to know in the comment section down below what you guys think. I mean, it's so interesting. Uh, Chris Paul said in the post-game interview today that uh, something to do with his son. So maybe there is some uh, background knowledge that we don't know of, but I genuinely think like there is a genuine hate for each other and you shouldn't be having that when you're a ref in the league, but it is kind of funny when you think about it. That playoff record is absolutely ridiculous when you think about it. Now, going back to today, Chris Paul thrown out of the game against the Phoenix Suns. He was actually having a pretty good game as well. 
And after the game, like I said, some of the NBA players reacted to it. So the Golden State Warriors, we had Steve Kerr come out and react and seen what he had to say. Uh, I, I think Scott just felt like uh, Chris didn't stop and he kept going. And that's why he gave him the second one. So um, that was his explanation. We also had Stephen Curry, who, like I said, man, Steph doesn't really come out and he's not normally over the top. He normally doesn't let these things bother him. But even he came out and said that uh, he actually had a word to Scott Foster after uh, CP3 was thrown out. He basically said that, I mean, if you're going to get into an arguing match with these type of players, uh, you can't just win the argument by throwing someone out of the game. And I understand that by Steph. I mean, if you're going to argue with a player, uh, you can't just go to the, uh, you're out of the game. I'm going to throw you out of the game. I don't, I don't, I don't like and appreciate. I know that there's history and all that. And I know he talked about it, but when both the player and the ref engage in conversation, like that has to kind of stay there. That was, I told, I told, uh, Scott, that after he ejected him, it's like there are certain situations where I know players overstep. That all happens a lot. There's times that you kind of know you have to back off. But <clears throat> when both are engaging, like I don't like that. That's the part that that mess with me the most. Watching is just like two guys talking, you know, speaking their truths and. Let's just play basketball. And I don't know how the NBA hasn't actually looked at this. Now, I want to have a look at how CP3 reacted to this and what CP3 thought of it. Uh, and just have a look at some of these interesting words. Yeah, we had a situation some years ago, and it's personal. You know what I mean? Like, the league know, everybody knows. It's been a meeting and all that, and it's just a situation with my son. And so it's, yeah, we... Yeah, so I'm I'm okay with a ref talking, you know, saying whatever, saying just don't use a tech to get your point across. You know what I mean? So So Chris Paul has even come out and acknowledged that he knows. I mean, he did previously, but now it's just clear. There's been meetings behind the scenes. There's been NBA officials coming together and trying to figure out what is actually going on between uh, this ref and, and CP3. Now, my opinion on this and what I think, I mean... We're all human at the end of the day, and I mean, you you may have people you don't like, but you'll still have to do a job. Now, I don't know if all these uh, uh, these refing calls are so against CP3. I mean, the tech today, I think that was pathetic. I mean, in my sense, I feel like that Chris Paul shouldn't have been thrown out of the game. I mean, if you're going to bark at an NBA player, you're going to bark at another person, you've got to expect to take it back. Now, I know they're a ref, but to just to lose an argument, to be thrown out of the game like that. Now, Chris Paul did, I mean, he warranted the, the throw out of the game. I'm pretty sure Chris Paul was calling him the B word. And I don't know if that came after the tech, but it actually is really interesting. And I'm interested to see what comes out of this. Now, there has been there has been some NBA officials in the past being done for cheating. And I mean, who who want, who's going to not say that an NBA, NBA official doesn't like an actual NBA player? But let me know in the comment section down below that was uh the look at the beef between chris paul and scott foster i mean this is the biggest uh matchup of the year i want to see these guys in the youtube influencer scene i mean they're absolutely crazy man but let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think thank you for watching hit that like button man i'll see you in the next one